the Crimean War, 1854. One of the things that saw use in both the Crimean War and the American Civil War was this little hand cannon. It's in 1853, Tranter Cap and Ball 0.442 calibre percussion revolver. It's got a six and a quarter inch octagonal barrel and it is 54 bore. Um, it takes wadding in there and then a ball and then a percussion cap. And what's unique about this particular series of revolvers is that it has a kind of double trigger mechanism. Now what's missing from this one is a Y-shaped piece of steel that went there. That, that was the cocking mechanism of the gun. And there's also an L-shaped ramrod missing from here. So when you put your, your wadding and your ball in there, your ramrod came down and you pushed them home. And then what happened was, by pulling this lower trigger, you could cock the gun, which made that little trigger come forward. And then you could aim it and then pull the trigger and fire. But in close quarter combat, you could put both fingers on the triggers and simultaneously cock and fire the gun at the same time. Now what that one would do, the bottom one, when it worked, the bottom one would rotate the cylinder and it would cock the hammer back. So that would rotate the cylinder, cock the hammer back. That would fall forward. By pulling that trigger, it would fire the gun. This one's been chromed way, way back in the past. It's got the original chroming on it. Um, what this doesn't have is the Tranter Birmingham address across the top. If it had the Tranter Birmingham address, it would be for sale in England. But this one without the address is known as the export model. And this is the type of thing that would have been sent both in the blockade runners to the Confederacy. And it would also be available through Tranter's American agent for purchase by the Confederacy during the American Civil War. And the price uh, way back then was about $120.00. It was one of the most modern handguns in use by the Confederates during the American Civil War. And it was certainly an ultra-modern handgun in the time of the Crimean War. Um, such famous Confederates such as General John Hunt Morgan, General J.E.B. Stewart, Colonel Dabney H. Moret, all were issued with them. And there's, there's records of some being issued to, the, to Company H of the 18th Virginia Cavalry. And there's certainly some records of them arming the Union side as well. So quite a nice revolver. The 1853 Tranter Cap & Ball 0.442 calibre double trigger percussion revolver. Quite a nice sizeable piece of kit. Very impressive and it is quite a heavy piece. Bye for now.